a decision to merge the launch of the Grenada's 50th independence anniversary celebration with those in observance of October 19th have been reversed, following concerns that the two occasions are different and should be treated as such. The announcement was made by Chair of the National Organizing Committee, Dr. Wendy Crawford, during a press conference on Wednesday. A decision was initially taken to launch the island's 50th independence anniversary celebrations on October 19th, a date also significant in Grenada's history. Dr. Crawford says the activities planned for October 19th will remain. However, the launch of independence activities will be held on October 31st. We have also carefully considered the concerns raised by members of our community concerning the decision to merge the independence launch with the events of October the 19th. Some have, have voiced reservations about this twinning and respectfully requested a reconsideration of this approach. In response to these concerns, the National Organizing Committee convened with various members of the public to listen to their perspectives. We took their recommendations to the Prime Minister and his cabinet, who, in a demonstration of leadership, wisdom, and a commitment to fostering national unity, have agreed to separate the two events. Chairperson of the National Celebrations Committee, Jackie Alexis, outlined the activities planned for October 19th, which include a candlelight vigil and ceremonial wreath laying. The day will commence with at 9 a.m. with an ecumenical mass service at the National Stadium. And that would be accompanied by um, some speeches, some remarks by government officials, um, participation by family members of the 19 victims, and also um, some respectful uh, cultural presentations. It will also be include laying, laying of wreath up at the, um, at the fort. Uh, everybody knows the fort is currently off limits because of work that's taking place up there. So a small group of persons will be, will be enabled to go to the fort to lay their wreaths um, and then end with that. Uh, at 1 p.m. there will be a tolling of the bells across the country Church bells will ring out and that will be followed by a moment's silence, a minute of silence. Um, and then later in the day at 7 p.m., the nation is invited to, to join us out on the carronage for a candlelight gathering. Orlando Romain, member of the National Organizing Committee, said consultations will be held soon to finalize the selection process for national heroes and the spot to construct a national heroes park. We will also start the process of consultations for establishing or uh, uh, deciding upon persons who will be named national heroes. It will be an open consultative process, so every Grenadian will have the opportunity to weigh in on that conversation as we uh, decide on the persons who will be named national heroes. Uh, we do have a committee who is working out the criteria for that, um, and we will be guided by their recommendations. Additionally, uh, in the coming months, we will start the process of exploring the uh, selection spot for the National Heroes Park. We have a few options in mind, um, and come next year, that park will be open, which would house uh, monuments uh, in commemoration to those who have lost their lives on the foot and other heroes. So National Heroes Day will be known not just for those on the 19th, but all uh, heroes of our country and of our history uh, from the years gone to recent.